Hey everyone, welcome. It's the first video of 2018 for me. Um, I wanted to do a video about the HE cluster, but I'm still working on it. Um, this week I got off from work and um, the plan was to get all in on the HE cluster thing and some other projects I'm working on. But instead of that, I got to, to repainting uh, my apartment. And as you can see behind me, uh, the heater is uh, already done. Everything is as white as that. So maybe it's a little bit too white. Um, that's also the reason the green screen isn't here because I can't, I can't get to it right now. Um, this video is going about Plex Media Server. Um, I think it's a great package. Uh, I use it a lot with my Chromecast and my server. When I redid my server, I switched from a normal media center, a normal home theater PC, uh, to the Chromecast setup with Plex Media Server. Um, but the annoying thing is, uh, a couple of weeks ago, it started to, um, to disable subtitles. So after five minutes of playback, it randomly stopped uh, showing subtitles. And it's very annoying. So um, at first, I thought it had something to do with my uh, my Xpanology setup, um, so I gave it more cores, um, I gave it more RAM, uh, tried the different access points just to make sure it wasn't a connectivity issue. Um, no matter what I did, uh, nothing was working. Last week I got the update uh, to the latest version as you see uh, behind me, um, version 4602 of, of uh, 1.10, and that also didn't fix it. So. Um, I did some search on the internet on, on the forums and uh, a lot of people uh, have the same problem. Some of them switched back to a previous version of 1.09 and uh, some of them updated to a newer version, uh, which is a beta release. For that you will need Plex Pass and it's a, it's a monthly subscription. I don't have Plex Pass so I couldn't update to a beta release and I also couldn't switch back to an older release because I don't have any left. Um, if we go to the to the NAS and you want to install Plex, it automatically installs um, version 4.5.2.3, which is also uh, being reported with the same problems. So that wasn't an option. So then I had a look um, at the download section of Synology and they have a download archive you can download all the packages from. And I did find uh, all the package from Plex and uh, tested it yesterday. It works perfectly fine, works like a charm, uh, no problem with subtitles whatsoever. So that's what this video is about. I'm just going to show you what I did to get it working. Uh, see it as a temporary fix uh, until uh, the developers of Plex Media Server um, yeah, get this fixed. Uh, until then, maybe this will help you out. Um, so what I did was um, I uninstalled Plex Media Server and as you can see here, this is a, a test NAS I installed on my ESXi server. Uh, what I basically did was just uninstall the package from Plex. So if we go to Plex and um, we go to action and we click on uninstall. Are you sure you want to uninstall this package? Yes. And it's been uninstalled. And what we're going to do now is download an older version of Plex Media Server. I will post a download link to the Synology archive in the video description. So the version I went with is uh, this one from April 4th. Uh, just click on it and you can see all the different versions of Plex Media Server. And these are all different architectures. So if you don't know which architecture you're running your Synology NAS on or Xpanology NAS, uh, in my case, so to determine which architecture you're running on, um, I will also post a link in the video description for this, is um, a thread I came across on GitHub. And most of the Synology NASs that are out there are listed in here. So let's say you have a DS3615. You can just type in DS3615 and it will show you the architecture. And in this case, that's a Bromelo. Um, my NAS on the SXI is built on uh, a DS3617 uh, and that's the Broadwell version. So I'm going with the Broadwell download. So I'm going to search in this list. Yes, as you can see, here it is. Broadwell. And I'm going to download this. And we're going to save it to my desktop. 
Okay, now we switch back to DSM and um, we're going to install it manually. Um, first, go to settings if you haven't made any changes to the uh, package center at all. Uh, go to settings and you will need to select this option, any publisher. Uh, otherwise, you aren't allowed to install any other packages. So make sure this one is selected and, and click OK. Uh, then you click on manual install. Uh, click on browse. Uh, browse to the location where you downloaded the package to. In my case, it's on my desktop. Open it, click on next. Uh, run after installation, yeah, that's fine. Apply. And it will just install the older version. Uh, as I said, for now, it's just a temporary uh, solution. Uh, for, my, uh, for myself, it works fine. And uh, subtitles are showing as it should. Okay, um, don't hit update because it will install the latest version again and you will be in the same kind of trouble uh, as you were before. So let's check the installation. Go to the launcher, scroll down, click on Plex Media Server, and click on the settings icon in the top right, and go to server. And as you can see, it's running 1.5.3.3580. There's, there's an update available, I'm not going to install it. Uh, I will just uh, wait it out until they come with a new update. Um, for now, this solved my problem with the subtitles. And I hope they get it, uh, they get it fixed soon, uh, because it's really annoying if it's not working. And um, well, yeah, um, I hope it will work for you. Um, if it did, please let me know in the comment section. For now, I will leave it at this. Um, if you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.